Michael, in uh, looking at all the different ways to understand reality, uh, it would seem that pantheism, that the world is God or the divine, and divine is the world, and panentheism, where the world is God, but God is somehow more than that, uh, it, it seems like there's very little difference between them, but um, is that the case? I think there's a, a world of difference between pan pantheism on the one hand and panentheism and, and, and uh, theism on the other. On the other hand, I should say that there are theists who interpret theism itself pantheistically. Um, so when, you, when Anselm sell, says something along the lines, I can't get the quote right, uh, we live and breathe and have our being in God, uh, he's, it's, it's a pantheistic or panentheistic notion. Uh, panentheism suggests that the world is, uh, some people interpret it Ramajuna, the world is God's body. Uh, some people say that um, uh, the world uh, is an aspect of God, although God transcends the world as such. But again, I think it's, uh, uh, it's wanting to have your cake and eat it too, uh, because you, you're again maintaining the principal things that, uh, panthe that the pantheist, uh, the pure pantheist, or the pure pantheist, if you will, wants to maintain, which is uh, the um, eminence, the, the sheer eminence of, uh, of, of the divine. Uh, panentheists like theists maintain a distinction, a transcendent distinction. And panentheists also believe, of course, in a personal God. That's crucial. Uh, a conscious being that God is. And the pantheism that I'm talking about tends to distinguish. So, so you would see a closer link between classical theism and panentheism than between panentheism and classical pantheism. Much closer. And it's a way of, especially in 20th century, Charles Hartshorn and others, it's a way of resolving, attempting to resolve, again, have you taken you to some of the problems that theists thought were... Um, uh, that were becoming too much. But still the keeping their theism. You, That's you right. want to resolve the problems, but with pantheism, you don't need the. the you the abandon action. it for something quite different. Right, That's right, 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 right. Uh, so, what are the uh, core characteristics of a of a of a panentheist that um, that are similar to a pantheist? What what are they looking to pantheism to help them with in their theistic problems? Well. Uh, they would say, for example, that um, there is uh, that God is not uh, utterly transcendent; that there's an eminent aspect of God. So it brings God closer to uh, to the world as such. You, in fact, you couldn't be any closer if the world is God's body. Right. Uh, there's a there becomes a, an important intrinsic connection, and uh, look, this satisfies a kind of uh, an emotional need that we have for being closer to to God. So it addresses these not just uh, intellectually, it has to at one and the same time address one's need. You know, people asked, uh, I forgot, J.A. Smith, a philosopher, 1917, asked in mind, what is this, what is this need to feel that everything is one? Why, why, why one? And Woody Allen made a big joke right. about it. He says, this year we're studying uh, one, next year we'll study two. Uh, <laughs> what is this need to feel? Well, the need is an, an effective need to feel that uh, uh, we are part and parcel of everything and related to everything. It satisfies uh, a fundamental desire of, of human beings. And this is something that panentheists try to uh, address. Now, they'll give you all sorts of arguments uh, as to why and how panentheism is preferable to a theism, but I think a pantheist will say, well, just look at what you're actually doing, and uh, you can see why it's no longer necessary. Modern theists who uh, are concerned about the, uh, the problems of science and religion like panentheism because it it removes some of the distinctive problems that theism has with religion such as miracles or other kinds of things and where the panentheist would see everything within the natural order because god and the and the world are so intrinsically together possibly i don't know i don't i'm not sure that it would be successful with regard to the problem of evil for example uh i should say that Pantheists um, uh, and uh, uh, P Peter Forrest uh, w would say the same. Any kind of uh, genuine pantheistic view, anything, any plausible pantheistic worldview now has to be consonant with a scientific worldview. But it's very important to realize that 
a scientific worldview is not the same as a scientistic worldview. It's not a view of the of the world as such that addresses uh, each and every problem uh, and can give you uh, total answers to questions about uh, value as such, about what we should be doing, about normative questions. Uh, they're still very important and big differences. But where pan pantheism has an edge, uh, neither panthe ne nor neither panentheism nor theism uh, is is uh, pantheism does take a scientific worldview uh, uh, seriously uh, as such, and that, by the way, is something, of course, that theism theism never has recovered from Darwin, and it never will. Okay, um, did did you see in in a very simplistic way, panentheism being a theistic worldview that wants to take from pantheism that which makes it consistent with a with a modern scientific understanding. Is, is that overly simplistic or? Uh, no, I don't think it's simplistic at all. I think it takes, it, uh, it gets to the heart of the issue. That's exactly what uh, panentheism is trying to do. It's, it's, uh, it's, a, um, it's, it, it, it's bespoke dogmatism, bespoke theology. It's, it's, it's made for a purpose. It's tailor-made <laughs> with certain kinds of issues and certain kinds of problems in mind. Here you are. Uh, whereas pantheism starts from the other end. Pantheism starts uh, completely differently and says, look, this is the way in which we conceive and perceive the world. Um, we're working it out still. Uh, we know that it has to be consistent with the nature of reality as such, which is what science tells us about. Um, although there are aspects of, of a reality that science uh, doesn't necessarily address, normative questions, not all normative questions. Uh, but no, panentheism is... Uh, is uh, is uh, tailor made, uh, uh, much as uh, much as uh, you know, there are connections there. Then closer, closer connections, in terms of motivation, etc., between panentheists and deists, uh, and and uh, deism.